Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink and welcome to video 22B. <laughs> I made a card video earlier with some Pretty Pink Posh products and when I was going through them I came across the Pretty Pink Posh Joy Shaker die and my original plan was to make a flat shaker card similar to the one I made in my Halloween series. But then the more I was looking at it, I was like, these would be fun to just make some really easy ornaments with. So that's what I did. And I'm using my fuse tool, which I had plugged in before I even started the video and really gave it a good amount of time to heat up. And then I'm using a circle die that I went through my stash and found a circle die that was just like the print, the inner perimeter of it was just slightly bigger than the opening on the joy shaker die. And then I ran that circle die through my big shot with some of the We Are Waterfall photo sleeves. You could use stamp packaging, like any, I have used like the sleeves that I use to store my stamps in and whatnot when creating little shaker pouches. I just happen to have a whole stack of these um, waterfall photo sleeves and obviously they're meant to be used with the fuse tool, so they're perfect. So I'd run them through my die cut machine and it didn't die cut all the way, but that was fine. And then I'd held the die in place and use that as my guide to fuse almost all the way around. I left about a one inch opening. And then I have three different Pretty Pink Posh um, sequin mixes here. And I'm just pouring them in. These, these little dishes were actually from a like entertaining set I used to have years ago that I never used because I never have people over because I'm a loner. Anyway, I kept the little these little um, ceramic dishes from that set though and gave away the rest of the set. <laughs> because these were great for all, like all my craft desks. So I just poured out those on there and I'm putting them into the opening of this little circular shaker pouch. And so I've got the sparkling clear snowflakes, the metallic silver confetti and the marshmallow confetti. And then I decided I needed more. I needed some more shimmer and a little bit of color. So I pulled out the silver confetti hearts some pink blush four millimeter sequins because for some reason I happen to have like two or three packs of those and some iridescent confetti stars and I'm using my little tonic craft spoon to kind of spoon those into this shaker pouch and once I'm happy with the amount I put the circle die back over it just to give me that guide again and I can seal off that le little bit that was left for the opening and I've created my first pouch. So once I did this one a couple of times, I kind of got into a groove and moved a little bit quicker. Um, doing it circular is a little bit different. I, you know, I'm so used to doing, you know, straight lines with the fuse tool. So this is why I have the die in place that gives me something to work against and it's metal. Um, I work fairly quickly. If you hold that heat tool, one, it's going to melt everything. And two, it's going to heat up that metal. But I'm just doing, you know, short little bursts like this. It's fine. It doesn't get too warm. I work over just um, several layers of scrap cardstock because again, I don't leave my tool sitting on it. Um, this thing does get insanely hot. You need to be very careful with it. Like it is crazy hot. I also have just this silicone mat. It's actually meant, the silicone mat, I can't remember, it was either a kitchen one or one that's meant for you to use like on your bathroom counter when you're using, you know, a hair dryer, or not a hair dryer, a curling iron, etc. you know, to protect your surface. So I keep it for that too, just in case it's not, you know, sitting on its stand just to be sure everything is protected. But again, I'm just super careful with this tool because it is very, very hot. And um, I'm always aware of it too, like where it is, like even you don't need to get your hand even very close to it. You can feel the heat coming off of it. So I'm just, all the disclaimers aside. <laughs> After um, filling up, I just keep doing this process over and over again. And after doing like the first one, they just started getting faster and faster. You kind of get into a groove and remembering how the tool works and how it feels and all that kind of stuff. So I would just keep going around the inside of this um, circle die to fuse the um, plastic together and always leaving about a one inch opening so I can fill it with all of my different little sequins that I had pulled out. Obviously you can use kind of any color but I really loved how like the silver you know reflects the light and then the iridescent as well. The snowflakes of course are just fun and then the pink because I'm using some um, colors of cards that are pink and these are I'm making these for my own tree. So my own tree is kind of like pinks and lime greens and turquoise colors and that. So that's what works for me. And I decided to make several of these because I can't, when it comes to making ornaments, I, 
I need things in multiples of like at least six, I think, just to, you know, look proper. I'm kind of hoping that Pretty Pink Posh releases more of these like in future holiday releases and that because I would totally make more of these ornaments. These were a lot of fun to make and they honestly didn't take that long once I got in my little groove of just going in the system and, you know, sealing the edges, filling them up, sealing it off, and then I'll go on to actually making the joy part of these that actually make the ornaments. So I have this joy shaker die and I have six different colors of cardstock. Each piece is cut large enough to do two die cuts with. And to do the adhesive, I'm just running all of these pieces of cardstock through with my just my little Xyron three inch um, sticker maker. I, you can use your Creative Station Lite if you have one, especially if it has the little three inch um, refill inside of it. But I happen to have this one, so it's just easy and convenient. I think I mentioned it in a previous video when I used this. All of the components of this are completely recyclable too. So that's pretty cool. And there's a ton of adhesive in there because I've used this multiple times. I used it in my last video and I did all these pieces of cardstock and there's still adhesive left in that thing. So I'm kind of impressed. So I ran through all those pieces. So I have six pieces of cardstock coated with the adhesive. I'm going to cut these in half. And when I run these through my die cut machine with that joy die, Half the pieces I'm going to cut with the cardstock facing up and the other half I, f I cut with the adhesive side facing up. So those ones are going to be backwards. Uh, before I even started making these, I was like, how am I going to place this on these shakers? Because it's a word, you can't just flip it over. It would look weird. And I was like, oh, if I run it through with the adhesive facing up, those pieces will be the back and can then frame all of this and you're, it's going to look okay. So I adhered the front to this first one, I peeled off all the backing, adhered it to the shaker punch, or shaker pouch, and then this is the piece that I cut with the adhesive um, facing up. So now it's going to go on the back of my ornament and then it just sandwiches in that little shaker pouch. So I chose to do it this way rather than just applying a piece to the front. It gives it that little extra bit of weight Plus it just kind of finishes it off and makes it look a little bit nicer, I think. So it's up to personal preference. I guess you could totally skip that step and only die cut the front pieces if you want. Um, I did also see someone, and I forget who, hopefully someone can remind me in the comments. Um, I'm not sure if it was a pretty pink posh designer or someone else had made cards and these were inlaid into the card front and they were ornaments. I thought that was a really cute way of make, like giving these as a gift is you could give it as a card and this would pop out and then the person could hang it on their tree. So it was kind I was reminded of that after I made these and I was like, oh, that's right. That would be so perfect. But I'm planning on keeping mine so I didn't make cards to go with it. But if someone can remind me who did it, if you know which one I'm talking about, I will link to that in my blog post because it was just fun. So I just kept going along and removing the backing to all of these die cut pieces so that it revealed the adhesive and then sticking them onto the front and the back of each pouch. And then I decided to make these work better as ornaments. I pulled out my much neglected crocodile corner, not corn charm, crumpledile tool that I haven't used in years, but I've kept it forever because it's never going to go bad and it comes in handy, you know, once in a blue moon like this. So I'm punching holes through the top of each of these with the crocodile. Any hole punch would work, really. It doesn't need to be the crocodile. However, I realized three in that I could punch all the holes all at once through all of them with this thing because it will cut through. It'll cut through wood. It's amazing. So I did that and then I still have eyelets in my stash. Same thing. I have not used eyelets in eons. It has been years. That used to be all the rage way back in the day. We all had our little, you know, eyelet hole punches and setting tools and put eyelets in all the cards and then brads came out and brads were amazing and it's been like 15 years and now we never use them anymore. <laughs> But I've kept them because they don't take up a lot of space. So I pulled some silver eyelets out of my one of my drawers and punched all these holes into the ornaments, put in my eyelet, and then used my crocodile here to set those eyelets into all of these ornaments. So it just kind of finished them off. And then that gave me a spot to string the cord through to turn these into ornaments. So I can't really see eyelets necessarily making a comeback. I know a lot of older craft supplies do, but... I don't know, I have no desire to use these on cards, but they came in handy for a project like this. So, and if you ever need to, you know, punch a belt loop in, or a hole in your belt, you know, to create a new loop or whatever, Crocodile is great for that too. It will cut through leather. So, anywho, after I had punched all those holes, set all those eyelets, I threaded through, so I had some iridescent cord in my stash, again, 
Never got rid of it. Came in handy because it was all perfect while the shimmer. So let's tie that onto all the ornaments and that finished them off. These were so much just fun and quick and easy. And you could do them in any colors you want, of course. And you could make, you could use glitter cardstock instead. That would be fabulous. I decided to just go with flat cardstock and leave the everything else to do the shimmer. So as always, I'll have a link below the video to my blog post with links to all the supplies used. You can check that out below if you're interested. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all very soon in another video. Bye.